Boogie my nose. You got a boogie. Got a boogie. Got a boogie on my finger and I can't get it off. Got a boogie. <laughs> anyway, so it's amazing. All the amazing, amazing things and how quickly things have progressed from one understanding to even more understanding after listening to the word be given okay and uh we have been reading the bible and learning so much and um it went from me saying um it was finished it was finished at the cross to it is finished curse lifted curse lifted okay jesus is god he's the fulfillment of scripture he's the messiah he's from the beginning the alpha and the mega he's the red line through scripture i started with revelations and then went to genesis and i heard jim caviezel's voice who was the voice of jesus and he was in revelations and he was in the beginning he's the alpha and the omega jesus is the alpha and the omega Jim Caviezel was just the actor who played Jesus, and then later he was the voice of Jesus in the reading of the Word. Uh, Jesus is the Word, the Word, the Word. He's the Word. He's who spoke and spoke us into existence. No, actually, he spoke the world into existence, but with with human beings, Jesus got into the dirt. And molded man out of clay and then breathed life into him. Anyway, I'm just learning so much. So I went from it is finished at the cross to it. Wait, I kept saying it was finished. And now I'm saying it is finished. The curse was lifted. Um, we're under Jesus Christ's leadership. So trust in him. He is the Sabbath. Um, that's one thing I've learned too, is that Jesus is the Sabbath. That means he's the rest. Like Paul Harvey would say that Jesus is the rest of the story. The rest, you can rest in him every day of the week and you can rest assured that you are in a good place. He's, he's safe. He's even, um, leading the martyrs right now. He's a good shepherd. So he's leading the martyrs besides still waters. He's doing that right now. He's just waiting to draw in just the last lost sheep. And so I would encourage you to run to the Word of God. Run through the Word of God. Run through the Word of God. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. And uh, But you can also rest. Just rest in Him. Rest in Him. Rest in Him. And love your neighbor. Own nothing to your neighbor but to love your neighbor. Right, David? Own nothing to your neighbor but to love your neighbor. We, uh, I was going to say that love conquers fear. Love covers a multitude of sin. Love conquers all. And um, so we are to owe nothing to anyone but to love our neighbor. And the new commandment that Jesus gave was to love your neighbor as yourself. Um, we are meeting the requirements of God's law by loving each other in Jesus name in Jesus name and I'm talking about agape love here friendship love uh, neighborly stuff here to love our neighbor love our neighbor